Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So I thought today we would do a couple of experiments, well not a couple, quite a few actually. I was having a little look on Reddit to try and see if I could find any examples of like things you can do in The Sims 4 that you might not know you could do in The Sims 4 and Reddit delivered. But basically, I sort of picked out 10 things that I personally didn't know you could do in The Sims 4 and 10 things that I haven't tried it doing in The Sims 4. And the whole point of this video is to see if we can prove the validity of them. Are they actually true? Can you actually do these things? Or is it all just a web of lies? So, I have a family of four living in a house in Evergreen Harbour. And I think the best way of doing this, because some of them sort of require doing them in stages rather than doing it all in one go, I'll just list out what the 10 things are and then we'll go through each of them and at some point prove whether or not all 10 are actually things you can do in The Sims 4 that you didn't know you could do or that I didn't know I could do. So the things we are putting to the test is apparently you can choose the colour of your umbrella by using this object here. There isn't any rain forecasted, but I do have my little weather machine. So I'm hoping I can make it rain and then we can test that out. You can also research your heritage thanks to the Growing Together pack, which I think I have done once before, but nothing happened when I did. But apparently if you do it, you might find a long lost relative. I'm not really sure how that would work if someone's just added to your phone book or what the situation is, but we'll find out. You can also have a certificate for mixology. So you know how you can attend skill classes? Well, apparently, if you go to a mixology class six times, why six, I don't know, but apparently after six times, you get a certificate. Also, if you want to get a good mirror selfie, I think this is more of a tip that we're gonna try out. Sims obviously don't do like mirror selfies, but if you have your Sim check themselves out in the mirror and then immediately after take a picture, that's meant to be the best way of getting a mirror selfie. So we're gonna give that a try. Apparently if you have a cow plant and there's like radio, if there's music playing, the cow plant will dance along. So I do have a cow plant growing over here. If Sims play with a doctor toy as a child and then they grow up to become a doctor, they'll have like a special mood buff. And this next one I actually thought was really cool. If your Sim writes a book, like their own novel, apparently they could also do a book reading. All they have to do is just find a microphone. So maybe we'll go to like Orchid A Go Go or something and test this out. And they can read from their own book. Definitely keen to try that one. That one sounds quite interesting. Sims can pee in the pool if their bladder need is low. I don't know how I've managed to not test that out yet. You can also, if you have the Bust the Dust kit, you can vacuum toddlers. And then finally, the one that I think is the most unlikely, but it's been mentioned several times on Reddit. Apparently, if you have a Sim that's got the party animal trait and they have a party and they get juiced, they can dance on the bar top. Now I'm pretty sure that that's something that is limited to The Sims 3. I've never ever seen a Sim do anything like this in The Sims 4. This is the one I'm most doubtful of, but you know, it was mentioned in several threads by several different people that was specific to The Sims 4, so we're gonna try it. I don't think it'll work, but we're gonna try it. So that's basically the goal of today's video. We're just going to test out several different things you didn't know you could do. I mean, I can already see here, clean toddler with vacuum, so I guess that's the first one we can prove. I do feel like something like that you should be able to do, like if the, if the toddler's been eating, because then it makes sense, you can just vacuum off the crumbs. But no, I guess you can just vacuum a toddler anytime. <laughs> okay, that wasn't as detailed of a animation as I thought it was gonna be. I thought maybe the toddler would be sat down, but that wasn't that impressive. But it is something you can do, I guess. And we have an inspired mood buff. What can't be vacuumed? Amira can't help but congratulate herself on finding a new way to clean her toddlers. All right, you know what, Amira? I think you've probably got a g the best idea here. I keep doing this. I keep starting to like film a video when it's late at night and then I just end up having to put them all to bed. But I think, yeah, daytime is probably the best time to test these out. So let's just all go to bed. Oh, you know what? We might be able to test something pretty soon because that bladder need is getting low. Maybe we'll start our morning by hopping in the pool, even though it's cold. Right, okay, Amira, get in that pool 
Amira is far too uncomfortable to do this. Well, how am I going to get her to pee in the pool then? Maybe the only way you can do it is if you have a sim sit in the swimming pool for so long that they end up peeing themselves. Well, she's too uncomfortable to get in the pool, so I guess we won't be able to test that out. I guess we'll have to try that out a different way. So I'm thinking, let's start off by freshening up in the mirror, and then I'm going to queue up immediately to take a photo as soon as you finish freshening up. What time do the skill classes open? Nine, between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Okay, I think I'm going to get the dad to do the skill pass, the skill classes, because once we've taken our photo, I think we'll go ahead and start writing a book, maybe, so we can do a reading. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, we are taking a mirror selfie, so I guess it works. I think probably you have to try it out a few times and just hope that you get the right pose, though, because I can't change her pose. And it's not really the best photo because she's looking down. What I might, I might try that again and just see if I get another pose. Freshen up again. A pose like that. See, a pose like this would be good. Okay. So we do have a different pose at least. So I'm going to say that this little, tr this little tip does work. I mean, you might have to do it a few times and see what kind of pose you get. Sure, because so far, both of the ones I've taken, she's had her eyes closed. But you can take a mirror selfie. How about we go and write a book? We're not very good at writing, so we'll just write a kiddie book. You don't have to be good at spelling or have any profound ideas for that. Just tigers don't take naps. There we go. Perfect. Okay, the kid's awake. I think she's just going to take a shit. But then after that, go and play doctor. I don't know if it works just by playing doctor once. It, I think it probably does, but maybe we'll play doctor a few times. And then eventually we'll age her into a young adult and get her in the doctor career. Oh, you know what I could do? I was gonna send the dad on a skill class straight away, but he's woken up needing to pee, but not so uncomfortable that he can't get in the pool. Okay, beautiful. Right, I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna kill you, don't worry. I'm just gonna make it so that you can't get out of the pool until you do your business. Bladder is in the red. How long do we have? Bladder failure in two hours. But I wonder if I can just click on him and then have him just choose to pee. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, let's just do that then. We'll make it easy. Oh, he peed in the pool. Didn't even need to build this fence. I think he has a mood buff as well. Secretly relieved from peeing self in pool. Bathroom emergencies can be horrifically embarrassing. That is, unless you're already immersed in lukewarm liquid. All right, well, now that you've relieved yourself... Oh, still got to wait till 9 a.m. Okay, fine, fine. So the kid has played with the doctor stuff. She's got a mood buff. Doctor fun times. Cow plant's looking good. Oh, I can evolve. Okay, well, we have finished our book. There it is right there. So I'm going to go travel somewhere. Oh, actually, wait. I'm going to send you out on a skill class first. We will do mixology. I actually don't know if you get a certificate for other classes if you go six times. The only one I saw again and again referenced was mixology. Maybe while he's doing that, maybe we could research our heritage. I don't even know what that would be under. Could be under web. Research genealogy. Okay, research your genealogy and see if we can find a long lost family member. Maybe I'll do it twice just for good measure. Okay, well the first time we researched genealogy, nothing, nothing happened. So I'm not sure how true this is of finding a long lost relative, but we haven't found one yet. Maybe three times the charm. Maybe if we do it three times, that way I feel like I'm giving it a fair chance to be proved right or wrong. Sunny found it difficult to focus yeah. in mixology today, but fe still feels it was a valuable use of time. Okay, why don't you go again? Sit in on skill class. We're going to go mixology again. Maybe we'll try and do three classes a day. Three today, three tomorrow. Okay, we have researched genealogy five times. I've had no pop-ups to say we found any relatives, nothing in the mood buffs, nothing in my people panel. So I don't know if that's something I can really prove. Right now it's looking like a no. You guys will have to let me know in the comments if you've ever found a long lost relative by doing this. Um, maybe I'll give it another try later on. Maybe we'll try searching it a few more times, but I sort of feel like if it was gonna happen, it would have happened by now. Let's see how we get on with our book reading. Okay, here is a microphone. <gasps> Read excerpt from book. Oh, wow. Come on, Amira, let's go. I hope that they haven't been lazy with animating this. I hope she does get the book out and is like reading from it. Oh, yeah. 
I'm glad she is reading from a book. I noticed that that actually isn't our book though. Our book has a different cover. So a little bit lazy there, but at least she does have a book out. But there we go. That's a nice feature, I quite like that. Didn't get any mood buffs or anything, but that's fine. Kind of a good thing we're here actually, because at some point I want to have a pool party. I want to test out the feature that I'm pretty sure isn't going to work. But I may as well take this opportunity to introduce myself to some other sim so that I at least have people to invite to my pool party. Okay, let's head home. Oh, introduce yourself to this sim. She could be a potential guest. And Sunny, you have been on two skill classes. I'm going to send you for a couple more. I do need my cow plant to be bigger because I want to see if they're going to dance. So maybe if I go... I always find cheats so broken when it comes to gardening but luckily i don't need to harvest anything but i'll get like a little stereo or something okay we'll turn on and we'll listen to some backyard music oh and there we go my cow plant's having a little boogie all right what if i turn it off back to normal just chilling again and then turn on backyard again and we're dancing again i like that that's a cute feature Right, let's throw a party. We'll plan a social event, we'll invite everyone, and then we'll try and prove the one about dancing on a bar. Again, sounding like a broken record, but I really don't think this is gonna work. If this works, my jaw will hit the floor, but I don't think it will. Okay, let's just do, so just do something simple. We'll just do a pool party. We will host, and we will invite everyone we've met along the way. Should we hire a mixologist? Yeah, why not? Perfect. Okay, so let's start by tapping the juice keg. I don't know why you're wearing that for a pool party, but okay. So we are a party animal. We do love parties. How about we grab a cup of juice? Maybe we'll do a keg stand. We'll have several cups of juice and see if we will eventually want to dance on the bar. Maybe we should come dance to some music. Let's just try and amp you up a little bit. Oh, Sonny's back from his class. I'm going to send you away now, Sonny, on class number four. We'll get dancing. We'll grab a cup of juice. Okay, I think we're going to see if we can do a keg stand. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll just grab a cup of juice. Fine. Maybe if I get her to drink, like, several cups of juice. Oh, no, we are going to do a keg stand. Okay. Is there anything I could do to make her even more wild? Maybe if we go streaking or something? Do party tricks? Where are you going? Where are you taking me? Why do you keep wanting to sit in here when the party's outside? Okay, so apparently she should be doing her party tricks soon. She is very confident. Oh, this is her party trick is the Rubik's Cube. Do you have any other party tricks? Are you gonna do the Rubik's Cube again? Oh, okay, that's another party trick. Oh, she's got quite a few party tricks. No dancing on tables yet though. Okay, so our party tricks are basically backflips, Rubik's Cubes, I can vacuum the bar, but I cannot stand nor dance on it. So I think that one will go down as unproven. Okay, where's the kid? Right, I'm going to get you out now. We're going to age you into a young adult and we're going to get you a job. Get out of the pool. So set age, young adult. Oh, in only the short few days that she's lived, she's earned herself a bonus trait. Oh, good for you. Good for you. Okay, find a job. I think we ended up playing with the doctor set like twice, two or three times maybe. Doctor. Entered the doctor career. I do not have a mood buff though from her getting the job. Maybe it's one of those things where she only gets a mood buff when she goes to work. To be fair, I could have broken it by using MC Command Center to rage her up. But it shouldn't really make that much of a difference. I mean, this one I do believe happens, but unproven, unproven. Okay, I'm gonna end this pool party. I don't mind if it was unsuccessful. Okay, everyone, come on, let's go to bed. It's been a long day. We are awake. Instead of going to the cow plant, why don't you take an umbrella? Oh, okay, so I can... See, I thought this would just be one of those things where you click on like a like an interaction wheel and it would just say, choose color. Oh, I didn't realize I could literally choose my design of umbrella. Oh, which what, what one do I want? I think it has to be rainbow, doesn't it? So if I can change the current weather and make it rain, hopefully it works. We might just get struck by lightning. I might save at this point. Oh dear, oh dear, didn't work. Okay, I just looked and I think it's, ha and it's handiness that dictates how well we do. So if I give us a really high handiness skill, then it should work. Although I kind of want to wait for her 
her mood buff to expire because I don't really want to run the risk of like dying or something. Oh no, I think my cow plant's hungry. Okay, I'm gonna research our heritage again just to see, just to see what the situation is. I mean, I think I know the situation. I don't think I'm gonna find any long lost relatives, but we'll try it three more times. I like how she's literally smoking from being fried. Okay, still no long lost relative. Let's see if we can change the current weather again. We'll make it rain so we can actually use our umbrella. Okay, let's have better luck this time. Okay, that looks like the fact that she's laughing like a crazy person makes me think it worked. And there we go, we're using our fancy new umbrella. Oh, I probably should have, damn, <laughs> probably should have removed the uh, stereo before I made it rain. Oh, you're awake. Right, go and grab something quick to eat. And then you're gonna go to your mixology class. And I think this would be your sixth class. Go and sit in on a class. You don't already know. His inventory is empty. Right, have fun. Hopefully get a certificate. Okay, I'm gonna have the daughter research genealogy just in case it makes any difference if it's someone else doing it. I mean, just doing a little test check. We had 10 things we were testing out. The umbrella, which we have done. The research heritage one, which, I mean, we have sort of done, but we're giving it one last try. The mixology class certificate, which we're in the process of doing. Dancing on the bar top, which we have tried and didn't amount to anything. Freshening up in the, mi the mirror selfies, tried and tested, it does work. Just takes a bit of perseverance to get the right pose. Playing with the doctor set as a child and then becoming a doctor. That one's not been proven. I, I do think that that is true. Maybe it just doesn't happen for everybody or maybe I skewed the results by using MC Command Center. I am willing to accept <laughs> that one is unknown. The dancing cow plant, done. Doing a book reading of our own book, done. Peeing in the pool, done. And vacuuming toddlers, which we have done. So all that's left to do now is get our mixology certificate and then we will have tested all of it. Oh, we've had an insightful mixology class. Do we have a certificate? No, we don't. Okay, let's go again, just in case I miscounted. I'm pretty sure we have done six classes. But just in case I've got it wrong, we'll go again and see if we get a certificate this time. I would like to know in the comments if you've been able to replicate any of these, especially the ones that I haven't been able to prove. And also let me know of any other small things you've noticed in The Sims 4 that you didn't realise were a thing. I might make another video like this. Let me know which one surprised you the most. Oh, okay, you're back. That was definitely more than six times you've been to this class and nothing in your inventory. So, so far, haven't been able to prove that one. I guess I could check our family inventory just to see. No, all I have is a lamp. So it looks like that one's not guaranteed either. Well. There are 10 things you might not have known that you can do in The Sims 4. Some of them are true, some of them not so much. Oh, in fact, I was just about to end this video, but before I do that, I will quickly show you something. This isn't anything new to me, I've been using it for ages, but I noticed a lot of people didn't realise you could do this. So just a little tip, I'm sure probably most of you already know this, but you don't have to choose one of each of these outfit categories, you can have five of each. So for my Sims every day, she can choose to wear up to five different outfits every day. So instead of having only eight outfits to choose from for your Sims, you actually get 40. Just a little tip. And on that note, I'm going to end this video here. I'm really curious to see what you guys put in the comments. It was quite fun testing this stuff out. I might try and do a part two where we test even more things out in The Sims 4. But for now, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.